Okay, so today we're going to talk about um, high cholesterol or just cholesterol and statin drugs. So um, let's start with talking about what normal cholesterol levels are. So um, high cholesterol is not a disease and um, it is not the root cause of any health problem. It is a symptom, so make that clear, high cholesterol is a symptom um, of metabolic imbalance and basically just evidence of something in the lifestyle needs to change. We cannot keep blaming genetics because if it were all genetics or if even half the cases that people claimed were genetic, if that were true, then I would not be seeing the results that I see when I work with people who have um, elevated triglycerides or quote-unquote high cholesterol numbers. So um, first of all, most people's cholesterol is not actually high. If it's over 300, yes, then the total cholesterol is high. We need to do something about it. But normal cholesterol ranges are 175 to 275. If you're an O blood type, you're going to tend to be in the higher range of that, maybe 225 to 275. Um, but until total cholesterol is over 275, there is nothing to worry about. If your triglyceride numbers are high, that is something that needs to be addressed. But that is reduced by something as simple as cutting out sugars and starches in the diet and actually increasing good fats in the diet. So when you increase good fat in the diet, which is flaxseed oil, olive oil, coconut oil, um, fish oils, um, good oils that are not hydrogenated, that are, that, that are in their natural state that God made them in, um, raw nuts and seeds, meat, um, you don't have to be afraid of those things. You don't have to go vegetarian or vegan because you've been told you have high cholesterol. I, I see people doing that all the time and they're miserable and then they're not getting enough protein and their brain's bouncing all over the place. They have no energy. Um, if the Lord inspires you to do that as like a fast for a season for maybe a month or two or, or a week, then great, do it. Um, by all means, listen to what God says. But you don't have to do that to reduce cholesterol levels. So a good cleanse is wise, yes. I'll get into that in just a second. Um, and then there's also amazing supplements that work very, very well that um, will help reduce this. But I will never recommend a supplement or a cleanse if you're not going to do something about your um, lifestyle first because we have to take responsibility for this stuff. That's why America is so sick because we want a quick fix for everything and we don't want to take responsibility for the majority of diseases which are lifestyle induced. Um, obesity, just to be clear, give you a statistic, contributes to um, over 65 medical diseases and at minimum 14 cancers. So we've got to quit blaming cancer on we don't know what caused it, we're running for the cure, whatever. So much of it is preventable and we've got to quit buying this baloney that we're that there, you know, we have to run for this cure. We need more and more and more medical stuff. Thank God that there that that there are some options out there, but the system is completely abused and so much fear-based information out there. And one chemotherapy treatment being like an average ten to thirty thousand dollars is insanely ridiculous for something that if we had not ignored symptoms from the get-go when we started noticing symptoms in our body and quit calling them diseases and recognizing them for what they are and addressing our lifestyle and if we can't change dropping to our knees and saying lord like i can't change i don't know how to change i don't know how to take care of my body i don't know what the truth is but i know that my body shouldn't feel this way he will be faithful to lead you to the person who can teach you or he will download the wisdom directly to you he's so faithful and he is the guy who knows more than any doctor um so if we can't change you will hear this repeated in my videos <laughs> Clearly, that is the evidence that we are not um, living a life fully surrendered to the Lord, at least not in that space. And we simply, we pray before we eat and we invite God into that space and say, Lord, your word says that I will be transformed by the renewing of my mind. So let this education and these videos and the truth of God's word and the scriptures um, renew your mind and transform your life. It's really that simple. God wants to be a part of it and he cares. He cares about all of all the details of your life. Um, another statistic for you, um, over two thirds of people admitted to the hospital for coronary artery disease or heart attack, or they think they're having a heart attack, over two thirds of them have normal cholesterol. So to say that high cholesterol causes heart attack is completely bogus. Um, actually high cholesterol levels do not cause plaquing in the arteries, nor, um, 
do they put you, are they guaranteed to put you at risk for cardiac disease? And because most of the time when we're being told we have high cholesterol, it's not even high cholesterol. Maybe the triglycerides are high, but again, that comes from the sugars or anything that breaks down into a sugar in the diet. So the lifestyle changes at minimum that you need to make are cutting out sugars and starches. So breads, pastas, popcorn, chips, um, sugars, sweeteners, um, and not and then not changing over to like Splenda, that's terrible, um, but a natural sweetener like Stevia or even raw honey would be a much better option. Um, let's see, um, there's two tests that are actually accurate for testing your cardiac risk. Um, so you can get your, your cholesterol levels checked, but the problem is knowing how to interpret them and knowing that not what meets the eye is not necessarily high cholesterol, okay? But the two tests that everybody needs to know about that I would love you guys to share this video on so that the truth gets out, um, this would be in an advanced lipid panel. So not every single doctor or a lab is going to offer this test, but you'll be able to find it somewhere. Um, the plaque test is called LPPLA2. So capital L, little p, capital PLA, the number two. That tests for the arterial plaquing and gives you a good reading of your risk for atherosclerosis, plaquing in the arteries or hardening of the arteries. And then um, OXLDL is the test you that is the best for determining your cardiac risk, your risk for heart attack or congestive heart failure, so um, or coronary artery disease. So again, that's little O, little X, capital L, D, L. So those are the two tests. If you're concerned about heart problems or you have a family history of this, these are the tests that I would get to see what your baseline is now and what you need to change. If you need more specific help or a plan, that's what I do for a living. Or if you have a, a holistic doctor or nutritionist close to you um, that you love, let them help you. They know what they're doing. Most of them will know um, the, the truth about this stuff. This is not like I'm, I, I have this secret knowledge that I'm the only one that knows. Um, this is very well known. It's just we don't have a platform as natural health practitioners because we're not multi-billion dollar um, industries like the pharmaceutical industry who is feeding the world most of the information that we call health information. And it's not health information. So um, what else did I want to touch on? Okay, so a couple of things that uh, – oh, statin drugs that you need to know. Um, statin drugs um, – are not beneficial to anyone. Um, it, no matter what your levels of cholesterol are, I would, me personally, I cannot tell you not to take that drug. I cannot tell you to come off of it, but I can tell you that I personally will never take a statin drug. Um, if I got cancer, um, I can't tell you 100% for certain that I would never do chemo or radiation. Just because um, I'm trained as a natural doctor and I know nutrition and this is what I do for a living, I would be taking that to the Lord if I were diagnosed with like stage four cancer and asking him what I'm supposed to do. Okay. So we don't, we can't really say what we do until we're in that situation, but a statin drug, I know for certain that there's no benefit to it for, for anyone and that it does more damage than good. So it, it's not even an option. It wouldn't even be on my, my radar. Um, so take that for what it's worth. Um, Low cholesterol will kill somebody before high cholesterol will. So levels below 175 are extremely dangerous. You need cholesterol to make bile, which comes from your gallbladder, right side, and breaks down fats and digests fats in your body. So you don't want to cut fats out of the diet when you're told you have high cholesterol. If that's actually true, the thing to do is not to cut out fats in the diet. Yes, cut out fast food and hydrogenated oils because those need to go no matter what, and they're causing oxidative stress and all kinds of other things. However, you need to increase the good fats. So coconut oil, olive oil, flaxseed oil, fish oil, avocados, nuts, and seeds. I think I already talked about it in this video. But those things need to increase, and vegetables, especially cruciferous vegetables, need to increase because they're going to help heal the liver. If you were um, under my care asking my advice, um, I, would always, I would make sure you're changing your lifestyle first before I'd ever recommend a supplement um, because – you can't just expect to take supplements and not change. It's a combination of the two. However, I put you on um, Clean Start as long as you didn't have loose or bloody stools. It's a cleanse I carry, wild berry flavor, and it will cleanse the liver, kidneys, lungs, skin, and bowels. I would do two boxes back to back, which would be a one month, very thorough cleanse. It'll wipe the slate clean, give you a fresh start, and then I'd put you on Cardiox LDL. 
It's a new product that we have. The patent has been filed. Um, it's a proprietary blend you can't get anywhere else. It is amazing. The clinical trials blew anything there is on the market out of the water. Um, you just take it as directed. Um, again, it's called Cardiox LDL, and um, it is the most potent antioxidant on the market. So it reduces oxidative stress in an amazing way. You can use it not just for um, high cholesterol or high triglyceride levels, but anything heart related, anything, any condition that pertains to the heart, it would be the number one um, product recommendation that I would have for you. So those can all be purchased at my website at happyhealthychristian.com. Um, if you are struggling and you need, you know, private coaching and a customized plan, and you have a lot of things going on, I would love to help you. Again, happyhealthychristian.com. Um, all the information for phone consultations and one-on-one -on -one visits are are on there. Um, but know that I am praying for every person who um, somehow comes across this video, that the Lord would just teach you the truth and restore your life and that you would not have organs cut out of your body and that you would not be medicated only to be medicated and medicated again and that you would just um, be humble enough to um, receive the conviction about glorifying God with your body and taking care of yourself so that you can live a long and fruitful life and, and serve the Lord and, and inspire others by the change. People don't always want to hear the gospel, but when you change and they know you couldn't change before, that is Jesus. And that speaks to people. And that is inspiring. And the best thing you can give somebody is their hope back. Statin drugs are a hopeless option. And nobody wants to do that. And hopefully more people know the truth and are not, are not being deceived and taking something that's actually killing them and not doing what they thought it was doing and trying to save their life and reduce their risk for um for a heart attack. So I love you guys. God bless you. And may, may God's truth be what truly reigns in your heart. Okay. Bye.